got a winner. Yeah, easy version. We're starting to do football game. Each team will have an opportunity to possess the football. All those other type of rules that we talk about for the regular season are in play. Basically a first quarter. But the guy who has the football and has the chance for the win is Deshaun Watson. And since falling behind both 16 zip, how's it 8 for 8, 111 yards and a touchdown? That's pretty good. And he's made a lot of those plays by extending out of the pocket, running the football, and then finding DeAndre Hopkins down the field. Let's see if that formula is the formula they go with here in overtime. Remember, a touchdown on this drive wins it for Houston. There's some movement up front. I see the finger point with Jerry Hughes right away. As this is going to go against the Texans. Ball start. Offense number 78. Five yard penalty remains first down. And that's false start number 14 on the season for Laramie Tunsil. Two today, 12 on the season, 14 total. Just a little twitchy out there because he sees Hughes. He's a pretty slippery guy coming inside. You asked him the other day about all those penalties. That was a big shake of the head from the big guy. <laughs> I want to cost your team here in overtime, though. Let's you look here on first and 15. Watson has been dynamic down the stretch. Can he stay that way? Drives that ball to Hopkins over the middle, out to the 30-yard line. That's 10 yards there. Let's see if he got his hands under this, secures it. Oh, wow, that's not or even close. That is had 104 catches this year. Absolutely, not even close to a drop there. First team all pro. If they spy Watson, if they drop and play coverage, the Bills, that is. There's high. Great effort by that front for Buffalo, including Neal and others coming in to fill it. And we will have a third down and three for the Texans. Johnson splits out. Johnson now waving him back in. Third and three. Pressure on Watson. Gets to the outside. Then throws the ball. And oh, my God. God. His hands. Menacing pressure oh, from the Buffalo God. front. Still, Watson should have had a completion. Yeah, the Bills get aggressive. They bring back Malito. Watson escapes dead, but out of the corner of his eye, he sees fails, and the big fella just can't hang on. It's an outstanding job by Watson of eluding the blitz. He fails, failed to make the play. So Brian Anger comes on to punt. Andre Roberts sitting back at the 20, maybe in position for a return here. Andrews had a good year punting, second in net average. Needs to drive one here. And it is secure with the fair catch to Roberts. So now Buffalo gets the ball with a chance to win with a field goal. Next score win, next score wins. So Josh Allen drove his team 11 plays, 41 yards to set up the game tying field goal with Hauschka, who's four for four on the day. And now, here he is, back on the field. Buffalo trying to win their first playoff game since 1995. He's gonna win. And he is wrapped up by Justin Reed. That is a loss of two. Reed made the tackle, but the play was made by number 59, Whitney Merciless. Allen wanted to come inside. Merciless came in there, made him bounce it out, and Reed came down and made the tackle. Nice play there by Merciless. If you notice how Buffalo has moved the ball, it's kind of
set up in unorthodox plays. Screen passes, throwbacks to the quarterback. What play is offensive coordinator Brian Daybow going to scheme up to get this drive started? Second and 12. Allen, look at the timing of this. Allen, he's going to launch it deep. That was Patrick DeMarco, the 234-pound fullback, all the way downfield, but Justin Reed was waiting there. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not liking some of the decisions that Allen is making here. Uh, the lateral that was to be at the end of regulation, and now just a, this is just a YOLO throw. Here's the problem, though. This is the playoffs, and it's overtime. You can't make that YOLO throw here. Josh Allen has got to make better decisions that you only live once. Oh, you now you got to live with a third and 12 because of it. And they can throw that one. Third and 12. He goes underneath to his tight end. And the first down by Dawson. The rookie out of Ole Miss. Now he's got his first touchdown of the season. Here he comes to the line. Now he's got to throw it to the end zone. Now he's got to throw it to the end zone. For yet another field goal attempt and a game winner this time. Allen to the near side, but closing on it well that time was Roby. He came straight in against John Brown. Roby has played a really good game. 